Hey Dave, how are you? Been doing good, Greg. Another trade show for yeah, us. It is IBC once again, and we both love it, don't we? We obviously we have a lot of things new, and I think you guys do too. Yeah, we absolutely do. Uh, new for Nvidia this year is the Quadro K6000. The K6000 is the flagship for Nvidia, and then we'd like to thank the flagship for the whole industry then. And uh, the fastest GPU we've ever built, almost 3,000 CUDA cores and 12 gigabytes of frame buffer memory, which 12 is- 12 gigs. Yeah, that's After amazing. After Effects users are gonna love that. Absolutely, it's double anything that uh, we produce and double anything in the marketplace. So uh, for users who are working on really high resolution files and, and other things where you're gonna take advantage of that, it's, it's pretty much ideal. And I think people come to these trade shows to learn about what's new. And there's no question, one of the hottest things at the trade show now is, uh, is 6K footage. I mean, talk about the 6,000. I mean, it's a perfect match for editing 6K footage. And a lot of people might wonder, you know, 6K footage, we're just getting over 4K footage. And it really is, people come here to learn. They're learning about how to do framing and how to size and how you can actually use 6K footage for stabilization. And you're gonna need something like the K6000 in order to help with that warp stabilization, whether it's an After Effects or, or Premiere. So these are some of the things we're talking about. And I have to say, I've been pretty impressed playing with some of this stuff over the past couple of months. It's been yeah. fun. It's really cool. Uh, as we've collaborated with Adobe to bring some of these products to market and see how they'd fit in the industry, uh, certainly taking high resolution files, we're showing red here for yep. instance, uh, we're really excited about that and I know a lot of your users are as, as well, to not only look at 4K but above with 6K here, doing debayering in real time, only possible with the Quadro K6000. Yeah, I, absolutely, and I, and, I, and I think anybody that's you know, using a Red Dragon, which is what's shooting the 6K, is gonna expect top, top performance for, uh, for sure. But I think one of the things I like to talk about as well is we uh, announced uh, at this show support for Cinema DNG debayering as well, which is harnessing the power of the NVIDIA CUDA. And it's really important for people to understand that these are one of the first sets of codecs that actually use the GPU, because previously we had pretty much used uh, the CPU to do all that decoding, and then on top of that, we would add effects and all that, which would run through the NVIDIA pipeline. Well, now we're able to take all the, the power of that pipeline and start adding some of the codec, and we're calling that the Mercury debayering engine, which is really cool. And one of the first things I got to play with uh, early on with some of that was this new ZBook from HP, which as you can see from the sign up here, it's got the 5100M uh, that's in there. And what's great about this machine, I actually did a blog on this as well, is there's a Thunderbolt port here where the video was piped out. So out of this Thunderbolt port, maybe to your GTEC drive here, up to a 4K display, it's all coming out of one chain, but being powered uh, by the Kepler technology that you see in the 5100M. And I'm able to edit real-time 4K footage, Canon 1DC, I can edit RED footage, and we already talked about Cinema DNG and all the other things. So it's pretty exciting what's actually happening in such a small box here. You're kind of looking at this wonder, you know, where's the rest of it when you start to edit with it? It's pretty cool. You know, what's great is a lot of our customers have, uh, have come around and they've seen this with the new HPZ book uh, with the Thunderbolt capability and seen the setup right here and said, wow, uh, that's really going to be perfect for on-set work because when you yeah. think about it, I mean, something that's only kind of this big right here, you've got a, a whole 4K workflow, so it's pretty much ideal. And one of the things I, I love about even this display that NVIDIA has, there's a lot going on around here. I mean, you've got one of the newest technologies from AJA, which is sort of helping us. Um, you know, they've got a 4K quad uh, product, which is bringing that 4K uh, right on through. Everyone seems to sort of come to this NVIDIA booth to sort of harness all this together, because this is really a real production workflow. I'm gonna need a powerful onset laptop or even maybe a powerful something like an 820 uh, with a K6000 in there, 4K display, Thunderbolt connectivity, but everything's gotta kind of work together. And I think between the partnership between Adobe and NVIDIA, they've come to the right place. I mean, it's, I will say, I spent a lot of time in my tech table lab playing around with the video stuff early, and we'd like to thank you for that as well, for giving us the opportunity. No, it's perfect for us too, because uh, the Adobe team and the Adobe users are really pushing us for what needs to be possible. You know, I think working with our customers together and seeing, you know, where are they hitting the bottlenecks in their workflow? How can we knock that down together? Absolutely. How can different parts of the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite link together, yes. uh, you know, to, to make that workflow even faster and even better and how can we use GPUs to accelerate those pain points and, and you know make everything go faster. Yeah, great. That's what it's all about. That's excellent. 
You know, another great example of our collaboration is around Adobe Anywhere, using the Tesla K10 in there, which of course we're very proud about. Uh, it's ironic that it's, uh, it's about collaboration and it's about our collaboration yes, exactly. together. And uh, I know that's been maturing over time. So uh, how, what's new with Anywhere here at the show too? Well, I'd like to learn more about it's, that It's myself. a great question and I think it's another great example that when we built the Anywhere uh, architecture, it was really built around the NVIDIA relationship that we had. I mean, it does require that K10 at this point in time to put in the machine and it's been a pretty fantastic experience. We started with Premiere and Prelude and at IBC, for the first time, we're showing After Effects working in that workflow. And obviously, After Effects users are going to expect a lot of power coming from the GPU. And it's just going to be amazing to see what these people do. And again, it's remote uh, editing, co collaboration uh, between the editors, sharing projects, sharing assets, and things like that. It's, it's very, very cool. And also, a big thing, uh, theme at, at IBC has been, and a lot of these trade shows, has just been partners coming to us, that ones that you already work with. You know, whether their storage partner just because the ecosystem starts getting bigger and bigger when you start talking about collaboration. Each one of those users are going to need a really good experience. What's the underlying technology? So again, uh, partners throughout this ecosystem has been really, really important for both of us. Yep, so that's awesome. Now we've got Anywhere, it's it's gotten more mature, it's now got After Effects support, which yep. includes NVIDIA GPU ray tracing in there uh, is, is one of the key attributes, and that would be ray traced by the Tesla K10 that is part of the Anywhere system. And there's well. one other fun thing to talk about. There's no real way to put a, a Kepler card or Kepler technology inside an iPad, is there? Not no, yet. but Anywhere actually has the ability to have an iPad as a front-end client now, which is talking back to that Anywhere server powered by that K10. So just kind of interesting that you can get this very fluid sort of experience on an iPad, but it's really being powered in the back room by some pretty cool iron, so that, that kind of cool. That is cool. NVIDIA graphics on an iPad, what could be better than that? So Greg, another thing I thought I'd mention as I'm walking around IBC, I do see a lot of partners around here that we're both working with. So yeah. you know, any other examples of, of who you guys are working with at the show? Yeah, it's a great community that we have together. You know, we, we talked about the exciting new uh, <laughs> mobile workstation from HP, and they have new desktops as well. Dell has come out with a really exciting line as well. Yeah. They've got the T7600 here and the M6800 mobile workstations. You know, so when our customers in there are coming in they're seeing all kinds of new technologies it's got the the k6000 in it it's got the m50 or the 5100 m yeah uh, from us in there as well uh running across your product line so it's just yeah, a great and thing. it's a pretty common story i i think between the two companies where we're getting a lot of these other guys coming to both companies and saying we need the best for the customer so it is nice to see this going to different uh, companies and different platforms, so it's, it's excellent. And nothing makes us happier than to work together for the benefit of our customers. So. Absolutely, well look, that's it for me. We'll probably catch you at the next trade show. That's it, see you at NAB, right. huh?